Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Pity Beats here from Pop Turnus. We knew Catherine Bradley about the really loud house on Nickelodeon and Paramount Plus. Welcome back to the show. It's good to see you again. Hi, it's so good to be here. I'm so excited. Absolutely. It's pretty crazy because, you know, you wrapped the movie, A Really Loud House Christmas, and are there kind of like rumblings with Aubin or the cast being like, like, I'm hoping there's a chance we could do this again? Like, do you think about that I at all? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when we wrapped the movie, it was like, it was so sad, but something inside of us all kind of knew that this was not the end. And then when we heard about season one of a TV show, we were like, what? I mean, and then as we are almost wrapped with season one soon, we are hoping there's more to come and there might be. So we'll see what's happening in the future. I know, it's really exciting. Did you, did it take a while to get used to kind of the pace in terms of working and filming the show compared to the movie? Where the movie you go in, you work and not the show, it's like 20 episodes. Like that's gonna be a different mindset right away, right? I mean, I mean, we have like, 70 scenes in a 22 minute episode. So when you think about it, all these scenes are boom, 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 boom. And it has to be so quick. So when we're all on set, the energy is super upbeat. I mean, you maybe, maybe if you're lucky, you get two takes. You get really one take or one or two takes to say your lines and you really have to nail it. So coming in prepared is very different than coming onto the movie where we kind of had a lot of just a couple scenes pretty much set and we had all day to film them. Whereas we have two to three scenes every day and we have to be right on the ball. When do you start to officially, like you're like, hey, I know this character. I know everything about the Like when does that start like sinking in? Is it after you wrap the movie or now do you feel like you fully kind of understand this character working on the series as well? I mean, I feel like throughout the series, I have, Luann has become a whole different person in a way. I mean, <laughs> yes. I mean, from the movie, you really got one side of her because you didn't have that many scenes. You really just got the comedian. Yeah, it was just jokes. Just jokes. Yeah, always the jokes. <laughs> yes. But in the, in the TV show, you really do see kind of the more vulnerable side to Luann. Maybe the chill side to Luann, the funny side, the theater side, the dancer side. Like, you see this whole character come to life. And I feel like no person, when they're an actor, can really ever completely know their character. I mean, yes, I know how she thinks and I know what she likes, but there's always more to learn and there's always more to add and explore. So I feel like I'm never done learning about Luann. It's interesting. No, absolutely. Yeah, I feel like you never, because you play this character for quite some time. Like Now it's been like two years of you playing this character. And I feel like the character is going to be thrown in all these different situations. And I feel like you're going to always kind of learn something about it, but I have an important question because the real, the really loud house, you know, um, it's not a, a loud house Christmas, but Christmas is like going to be around the corner and everything. Are you preparing for your 12 pranks of Christmas? Like, is that? Are oh, you... <laughs> I am so excited. Sadly, the 12 pranks of Christmas will not be included in the TV show, but there are tons of, Tons of pranks that you will be seeing happening on this TV show. I mean, so many have kind of been shown in the trailers, but I'm so excited for Christmas in general. I mean, my family goes all out on Christmas. Literally, Santa Claus really comes to town, and it's really fun. Weren't we talking the last time, last year when it was on, that when they played the trailer for the really loud house Christmas, there's Luan with, I think it was like the pie or something, the prank? <laughs> Yes. I mean, that trailer, literally, I literally still see videos of it to this day. Like, if you look up Catherine Bradley, that trailer comes up. Like, it that will never leave me. Um, I mean, it's great, because when I see the trailers for the TV show, I mean, you see different pranks. Like, yeah. I think the original trailer for the TV show showed my water prank coming out of my flower. And, I mean, it's kind of a cool spin. I mean, you saw the movie with the pie, and now you see the TV show with the water, and everything just keeps going up and up, and it's great. I was telling Aubin this, and I was telling Sophia Woodward this who plays Luna Loud, you know from the movie there's that they they Nickelodeon clipped on YouTube when you're all singing like when Luna's singing it's Christmas time and then it goes <laughs> but then it goes into you opening up gifts in the morning where you see the 12 pranks of Christmas and everything that whole clip on YouTube I don't know if you're aware about this they weren't aware so maybe I don't know it has a million views on Nickelodeon's YouTube that is wait what yes it does. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. It's like they took different clips. So they took like the clip of you all singing, like Luna yeah. singing, it's Christmas time. Then it kind of segues into like 
the opening up the gifts in the morning and then with the snow outside and then yeah it's like one clip but that clip it's like a lot of sing along or something Chris, really well. one million views on youtube i mean i think it's really cool the way the fans engage with the show yes i mean the loud house has such a cool bit i mean amazing fan base coming from the cartoon and s- seeing that as a person who is in the show being brought to the real life it is incredible everyone is so supportive i mean i think everyone plays their characters so well in the real life and we do stay true to the cartoon so fans are happy but they also love how we put a spin on it and everything has been so supportive the tv show is doing so amazing and we're just really all thankful i love how like passionate and excited you are about the project i feel like i said this last time you came on too like it's so awesome to see (laughs) No, it's, it's such a good, you know, I'm being on set, I mean, I got off set probably like an hour ago. I have to go back tonight, but um, <laughs> yeah, I know, that- they, I was like, I have a split call. There's a lot going on. I have way too much to film episodes. today. Both- They're going to get 20 episodes <laughs> in season one. So like this way. <laughs> the crew and the cast and just the whole experience is like, it's insane. It's it's just such. It's been. I'm so passionate about it. I've been since day one. I mean, it's just yeah. such an amazing production that I'm. We're me and Albert are both so lucky to be a part. Well, of that's it. my next question. So you do a really loud house Christmas, which is a movie. You work with your sister Aubin. You do the really loud house TV show. You work with your sister Aubin. What's that like going project to project with your sister? Not in general, like just working with her, but like that's an interesting thing too. Working on a movie and a show with your sister, right? I think our relationship has just completely flourished. I mean, Albin, I've she's my little sister. Like, yeah. I love her. I've always loved her. But just like being able to share our passion together, which is acting, is just so fun. I mean, I like sit next door in an airplane for the fifth time in a week. I'm like, our life together is crazy. And just like thinking about how it's going to be like this for so long. And I'm just going to always be with my best friend is really cool. It is pretty awesome as well. And there definitely there's learning experiences the whole time too, right? <laughs> I mean, me and Albin, don't get me wrong, we're still siblings, we still fight, trust me, but, you know, it's really cool. I mean, we help each other on set, we help each other off set, we run lines together every night, like, it's really cool having my sister on It's set funny, too, because I saw you did some interviews together, like, we did, like, I interviewed Albin solo, you solo, but the interviews together, someone says, like, you guys get along pretty much, right? I bet you're probably just like, yeah, <laughs> No, 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 yeah. <laughs> me and Albin, when we do interviews, we both, like, try to let each other talk, and we're like... Finish your <laughs> no, absolutely. But uh, I'm c- getting back to the cartoon, I feel like we talked about this a little last time because I feel like it's a big deal making a live adaptation of this series because of the fast pace and because how big it is, like the cast, right? There's so many characters and everything. I mean, you, yeah, you work on like the TV, the, the movie and the TV show now. Are you officially getting used to the pace of the Loud House? Because the pace is pretty <laughs> quick, you know what I mean? No, it's so quick. I mean, you have to make every moment count. You have to always be on top of it. I mean, as I was saying before, but the pace is fun. It keeps set so lively and great. I mean, the cartoon, it's very, it's very different from the live action, in yeah. my opinion. I think there's really cool storylines. You kind of get to bring the characters to life. And I think when the audience, especially kids, I mean, all of our attention spans are like this. And The Loud House does a great job of kind of matching that pace. But it is definitely hard to keep up with. I mean, on set, we're all very tired, and I'm sure the hair and makeup and the whole crew can agree that it's There's so many characters. There's so many characters. There's so many. Dude, it takes so long in hair and makeup. I mean, there's 11 kids going in and out of the work, school, like we all pumpkin off set. Like it's, there's a lot of variables going into it, but the end result is so satisfying that it's worth it. Is it also one of those things, too, to think about? You mentioned a little bit like the reception of the show, like globally, like so many people love The Loud House. It's really cool to see like the people that were like waiting for maybe another movie or like a show. Like people were like waiting for that. Like on our on our YouTube interview, there were some people like saying like hopefully I could see Catherine play Luan again. Like that's pretty crazy to think that people wanted more and they finally got more, right? No, I mean, yeah, the Loud House has such a great franchise and fan base and the reception of the show has been so positive and amazing. Let me tell you that. I mean, everyone is so happy. The directors, the producers, everybody. It's so good. And yeah, I mean, we all just really love it. And 
Yeah, it's great. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about being a storyteller and an actor? Just in general, not like the loud house, like in general. Like, is there something you like the most about it? Well, I think even just taking it away from loud house for a second, acting is so like it's not only just fun it's inspiring i mean especially for me it's educational for me being able to put myself in the shoes of so many kinds of different people is gives me such a greater perspective on life and how everything kind of works i mean it's it's awesome and i also think being able to kind of especially in the loud house i mean with so much negativity going on in our world at all times a show like the loud house which is very family oriented and all about love and and having fun and laughing it just sends such a positive message and besides the loud house i love to do that with my acting i love to tell stories and send messages and teach kids and adults different stories and yeah. different messages and i think it's really really cool to be able to reach that on such a broad scale it's so awesome. I mean, storytelling, there, there's so many stories to tell too, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. And also you get things you never thought you could do. I mean, when I was on Harry Potter on Broadway, I got to fly across the stage and get sorted by a sorting hat. And the <laughs> experiences that you get from like acting, just it's it's unbelievable. It's like you're literally in Harry Potter one second and now I'm in the Loud House on Nickelodeon. It's like, it's it's magical. You meant you mentioned like the Broadway and everything. Have you have you been seeing kind of like because you mentioned also like like the, the Luan trailer is always showing up on social media TikTok. Are you seeing the? I've been seeing the Matilda musical Netflix thing. Have you seen that? The yes. big dad's choreo. It's crazy. I can't even imagine the choreography of some of these things. It's not. You brought up the music like you brought up theater. Harry Potter just reminds me of like the choreography is just insane. Let me tell you, we have we have a couple dance numbers in in the <laughs> house that you all will be seeing, and the amount of insane practice that goes into these numbers and angles and and costuming and hair and keeping it all fr like non frizz. It's like. I can't even imagine doing a show where it was all sing and dance because it takes so long. It's so, so crazy. No, it, it's really crazy. And yeah, no, it, it's so much fun to see what the Loud House is dealing with in the really Loud House, which is on Nickelodeon and Paramount Plus. They can check out episodes of that. Catherine, so good catching up with you. Thank you for joining me again on Pop Alternative. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. You can follow my socials on Instagram at Catherine Bradley underscore my TikTok at Catherine Bradley with two eyes. You're doing you do you do you're doing my job. Like I usually ask that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Catherine Bradley who plays the one loud in the really loud house on Nickelodeon and Paramount Plus and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.